people hello it's randy from thunder horse ascendant i'm here with project number three project number three from bargain bead box woodland whimsy um so this is part of our uh mini series if you are new here welcome in and if you are not new here welcome back and if you are a member thank you very much for your support we appreciate you um, so this is project number three from the plan video that we said that we were going to design and we are going to be using today these little nugget beads. Something is happening. <laughs> oh, we're about ready to lose our business. Hold on. Jeepers creepers. Is this about lost at all? We better get down to the mat and get this party started before something bad really happens to us. <laughs> all right, party people. Here we are down on the mat. This is project number three, and these are the beads we are going to use today. This is a really simple bracelet. So this is all of the nuggets in that autumn jasper that they provided, which I think are very cute. Um, as far as like being a, what do you call it? Not a symmetrical stone. I quite enjoy that. And we are going to utilize this little connector as our bracelet focal. And we are going to utilize this as our, um, as our, uh, toggle clasp. So they did provide this in the box, which I thought was very cute. And yeah, we're just going to do some simple stringing with it, and that's what we're going to do today. So, I guess, according to my notes, we need some soft flex, so let me get in here and see what we got for that. Uh, medium. Is that blue? Why is this blue? There's probably enough on there. It's very little, <laughs> but probably enough. So we'll utilize that. We better have some gold findings here. These ones look good. And then some crimps. And we will jump right on into it. Okay, so we have just a really simple uh, beaded bracelet today. So we're going to start by getting all of our things ready. These are two different colors. I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> just, we'll just use this one. So we got a little strand. We're actually going to cut this in half because we are going to be only utilizing half for each side. And we're going to use a crimp tube. I'm going to use gold size two. And we're going to need four of those. Alright, we'll get our beads ready. Okay. And then I'm just going to split these beads so that I know how much I can use for each side. Now, these are not a uniform bead, so they will, you know, it's possible that we could end up with a little less or a little more on one side, uh, but that's fine. And then, for a clasp, I would like to use, oh, no, I don't need a clasp. We have, uh, we have our toggle. Sorry. <laughs> All right, well then, let's just jump right in. We're going to need our crimping tool. I 
about that here. And I am going to separate these guys. ready to rock. Easy peasy. I'm just going to take my connector and I'm going to put on crimp tube. I should let you guys know that Thunder Horse Senate is a working studio. So if you hear any commotion going on, we got pets, we got Shannon's here doing work. Uh, what else do we got going on? Things and stuff. We got things and stuff. Alright, so I'm just going to crimp this. We will be on our way. Spin it and crimp it. Don't spin. There we go. Crimp looks good. And then literally all we're going to do is just put these beads on. Now I am going to give this just a, the smidgiest of trim ups on this tail. And I'm going to put on these beads. Now you could add spacers or something if you wanted. I'm not going to. I don't feel the need. I'm just going to let it be amazing as it is. Show off some of that autumn jasper. since they're on a fit upstairs. I don't know what his problem is. These animals are having a day. Lily dug a big hole in the yard, so she's down here with me. Bunsen's upstairs crying to Shannon about something. Winter wanted to eat. It's just like, okay, people. Whatever. Do another crimp tube, and then... Run this guy back through. I always like to go through one bead just for safety. And pull it tight. Once I have it tight, then I kind of adjust the strand to my liking. Because you are going to get a little bit of wiggle room. And then once I have it where I want it, in the perfect spot. I'm going to grab a hold of this very gently and pull it up just about a millimeter and then crimp it. It's spinning around but I got it. Trim that off. And there we go. One side done. One side's already done. Now we're just going to do the same on the other side here. Now, I am looking to see that the little loops that are connecting are about the same size. Don't want it to look, you know, silly. Squish. 
bend, bend. Squish some more. Crimp looks good. You guys can see that. It's kind of tight. Give this a little bit of a trim up. Get the rest of our beads. Now, I'm not going to use that one because it's not laying real good against this, just because it's the first one. I don't really want one that's at an angle because then it'll show st the string or the wire. So this one is better. <clears throat> kind of only matters on the first one. Let it lay okay. And then we just thread these up. This is a super easy connector <clears throat> bracelet design. You could use it with any connector, you know. The only thing is is that you you do have to do a couple of crimps, a couple of extra crimps versus if you did one full strand, you know. So you have to crimp it a couple of times, but that's that's okay by me. So this one is going to be too big for me, but it's going to be probably like an average seven. Okay, so here is my bracelet, and I'm going to give it a little size adjustment because nine just seems a little bit much. I don't know. So now we have more of a, um, I think, a sizable bracelet. Um, so what did we learn today? We learned that A, uh, this is just beading. So if you mess up, you can just fix it, number one. Number two, if you use the entire bead strand plus the connector, you're going to get a nine inch bracelet. Now maybe you want to do that. Maybe that's something you want. So now we know that. If you do not want that, we know if you take three beads off, that's going to give you about a seven and a half inch bracelet um, and that the toggle fits and all that so there we go I am very happy with it nonetheless of having to rework the end uh, you know if at first you don't succeed try, try again so there you go you guys this is project number three I hope you guys are enjoying these videos if you are make sure to leave me a comment um, or leave a like let me know what you think of the new sizing and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.